Well, tonight the Kennedy Space Center is a busy place, even though the Artemis One moon mission ended yesterday. Already, NASA is looking ahead to put astronauts on board Artemis Two in two years or less. New Six's Eric Von Aiken is at the Kennedy Space Center tonight, where work to assemble the next mega rocket is already happening. Right now, the Orion capsule is headed here back to the Kennedy Space Center. It's going to be trucked all the way from the West Coast. And then crews are going to start pulling pieces off of it for Artemis II and inspecting it for lessons learned. And there's the splashdown itself. The Orion capsule came a long way to end up here in the Pacific Ocean off Southern California yesterday, 1.3 million miles to the far side of the moon and back. But it also took the entire Artemis program from concept, criticized for its billions of dollars over budget and years behind schedule, to a resounding reality. This is what mission success looks like, folks. In the hours after the successful splashdown, NASA was already talking about the next moon mission, Artemis II, when astronauts will be on board. We definitely pushed this vehicle far so that we can be now on to Artemis II, which is happening today at Kennedy. Uh, the, the, the crew module's there, the serv service module's there, uh, the engine section arrived yesterday. Um, that vehicle is a reality, and uh, Ironically, so are the next missions all the way out through Artemis 5. NASA has always said the crewed mission of Artemis 2 would come a couple of years after the uncrewed Artemis 1, but now mission managers say it might be sooner because the infrastructure is in place, the hardware, the people, and the processes to build, test, and transport the mega rocket already exist. And now that it has been proven, NASA's administrator says Congress's support, namely money, will keep coming. I'm not worried about the support from the Congress. Uh, we will have that. We, in fact, have that. And NASA says we're going to have to wait until early next year to find out who is going to be on board Artemis II when it does launch. They say they'll make that announcement as soon as January. At the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6.